Hi, I'm Bob Norton, founder and creator of Airtight Management. Today, we're going to talk about dashboards, which is system three. And this is the basic introduction to dashboards. There are about five modules on dashboards that you'll want to dig into depending on the level of help that you might get from experts and how much of this you're going to do on your own. Remember that Airtight is essentially a complete operating system for any company. And if you use all six of these systems, it's very likely that your company can dominate its market, but you want to introduce one at a time as your company grows. Today, we're only going to focus on System 3 dashboards, which is about metrics and KPIs, or key performance indicators. Our agenda for this section is to talk about what an effective dashboard is, what it looks like, um, most people and many performance um, uh, management vendors tend to pervert the definition of a dashboard and use it as an adjective instead of a noun to describe a summary. And those are very dangerous. That is not a good dashboard and you'll understand why after we complete this module. The second thing we're going to talk about today is why dashboards are needed. You're going to learn a lot of subtle and powerful reasons why dashboards can be a major competitive advantage and strategic advantage for your company. So we're going to show you what a dashboard should not be and we're going to show you what a dashboard is. We're also going to talk about the key goals and benefits of a dashboard. Uh, and then we're going to talk about uh, what a dashboard should not be by showing you some examples of what you might at first think is a nice, pretty, effective dashboard, but in fact is a disaster looking for a place to happen. That's going to give you a lot of perspective in creating your own dashboard, either with or without expert help, although of course we think this is an art and the value is very high, so we recommend uh, getting some involvement by a professional. So first, let's talk about what a dashboard is. Dashboards are essentially the navigation gear of your company. They allow you to look into the future, they allow you to see the status of the company, and they allow you to notice trends. In fact, without a dashboard, you're flying blind in your company. And you're going to realize when you see all these benefits, how many things you're missing if you don't have a dashboard. We'll also talk later uh, about when you need a dashboard and give you the rules. Because a dashboard can be for an entire corporation, it can be for a department, or it could be for a, a big project or a process that's happening. A dashboard is not just about a single department or a corporation. It should be attached to things that are valuable and repeatable and creating all kinds of uh, value. So what is a dashboard? Here's the definition we use. A dashboard is a high-level report, always with a time series of key numbers to show trends and to connect cause and effect that usually is lost in a complex system. What it does is it lines things up in columns by month so that you can see the delayed impact of things that are happening in your business, i.e., if you run a marketing campaign in January, you may not see the effect on the business until February or March, and you want to be able to relate those. So you want to see those numbers lined up in columns to be able to understand the impact and the cause and effect of what's happening in your business. A dashboard provides a comprehensive history it provides a status of the business, a snapshot, but most importantly, it shows a trend. And by getting the right design of a dashboard, that trend indicator can literally give you a one-year advance warning over something happening in the marketplace over your competitors. So it's very powerfully strategically. And again, a dashboard can be applied to a whole company, a division, a department, a project, or even to an important process in the business. Each number, is then in context of a series, and you'll see numbers from last year, what the trends are. And by the way, that's why it's important often to use ratios, because those ratios stay consistent. And if a company is growing, the numbers start to become meaningless because they're getting buried in bigger and bigger numbers. Um, dashboard is a term that's misused a lot. 
Uh, and today there are a lot of people that sell software that are focused on the software and the display and collection of the data as opposed to getting the right data that can frame the business and have a big impact. Um, generally, this is done by people who don't have an understanding of the business principles that are important because they're selling software or they're calling themselves um, uh, uh, experts in dashboards when really they're IT experts. So you don't want to listen to information technology people and have them design your dashboard. They will measure every little granule of sand and not do the 30,000 foot strategic level, which is connected, as we'll talk about more later, to the strategy of your business. You don't want to let accountants drive the definition of the dashboard because they'll focus only on the dollars. And that's an important part of a dashboard, but it's not all of the dashboard. So there are a lot of traps in here. And as we get deeper into the several modules on dashboard, we'll uh, unveil and reveal those traps so that you get the, uh, the best dashboard possible. So the analogy of a business as compared to a, a long airplane trip across the country is a very good one. In, instead of altitude, attitude, and those things, you're checking the competitor moves in the marketplace and other conditions that are changing in the market. There might be economic conditions. You're checking the, the market conditions in terms of pricing power, the number of competitors, geographically, new releases, all those things that could be happening. You, you may have people changes internally. You may have new technologies hitting the world, both that you're using to leapfrog competitors and they might be surprising you with. And then your own growth also requires uh, a lot of changes. So um, think of that analogy as the monthly visit to your dashboard is checking on the long-term trip. Now, every dashboard must be custom designed for the business based on the strategy of the business. So you've got to have a clear idea of what your business strategy is. Ideally, you have a good strategic plan in place to design the dashboard because then you're framing the work that your managers are going to have to do perfectly in context of where you're trying to be in the future in, in the context of that strategy. Every dashboard must be tied to the brand, the unique selling proposition, and the desired competitive advantages that you're trying to create long term. Uh, they must be highly confidential. You wouldn't want your competitors getting a hold of this information. And so the dashboard should be under lock and key at night if they're in a manager's drawers. They shouldn't be left out on the desk. Um, they also um, should balance the performance-driven things. And, and we use the acronym CANI for constant and never-ending improvement. If you do dashboards wrong, people will over time learn to game the system and they will do more damage than good. And we'll go into an example of that in a later module. Uh, and also dashboards must be different than your competitors because your differentiation from your competitors is one of the things you've got to try to measure and look at to create progress in the business.